I, I usually do it for my phone when it comes up right away. Oh, yeah. I've never done this before. The internet is, is okay. We're now live. Let me expand that. Oh, it's expanded. Oh, so here we are. Happy Tuesday. I always love coming and popping in here from the heart of my home, my kitchen. And I am Nancy Yoner with Love to List and Keller Williams Realty where I share a little bit of real estate, a little bit of health and home with you on a regular basis. And today I am so excited because I am joined here by a dear friend <laughs> who we met about 25 years ago. We, were, try we were trying to figure it out. This is Michelle. <laughs> and um, so we were trying to figure it out and uh, Michelle and her husband, I met them before they were married and before kids. And uh, I'll never forget, because when I met them, Phil uh, interviewed us. I, that's back in the day when I was with uh, Judy Orm. And wow, we were that was called, a long time ago. Yeah, Judy. we were called the power of two. We all know I've changed my name a few times <laughs> over the last 35 years. So um, I'm going to grab my phone. Real and quick. I'm not married anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, a lot has changed. I wasn't going to say that. So um, I'm just going to check my phone because I'm doing a little bit different today. Uh, I usually do my live from my phone. And I just want to make sure that um, we've got this going on. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, we're on. Okay, we're on. And a couple people are there. So, uh, anyhow, we're gonna I'm gonna talk to you about three things today, and um, one is a short success real estate story. Then we'll do this recipe, and then I want to talk to you about our upcoming event. Um, so, anyways, uh, the success story is we recently just settled on this condo in McLean. And the house had been on the market, or the condo had been on the market for over six months with wow. another agent. And that agent, this is something that I'm very passionate about. I always say, you know, it's always about the three C's, care, connection, and communication. And this other agent didn't, it was vacant, where there was no staging, um, and it was kind of dated. And so, when I met with the seller, I said, hey, you know, how's your feedback been? And, <laughs> and he's like, I have no idea. After what? six months. What? Yes. It's not like that at all. Like, <laughs> you communicate really well every day. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Michelle should know. As a matter of fact, she came over and worked today from my home office since her house is currently on the market. And um, so we're hoping to get that sold any day now. But yeah, six months it was on the market, no communication, no staging. Wow. We took it over. Now it was a little bit of a challenge, I will say. It, it, the average days on the market in this community is 65 days. It actually took us 95 days, but there are some challenges with this particular building. And anyhow, we did change light fixtures. We actually, um, staged it and of course we followed up with the seller and communicated so it's you know when things go easy and it go really well that's fun and easy and like no real work right but the it's unknown is never good right and yeah. sometimes you things take a while and as long as you have good communication and care you know for the client it, they still will have a positive experience even when things don't go well so i wanted to share that that's with why you. i keep coming back <laughs> like how many how many transactions have we had now nancy i would have to say it's probably close to 12 or 15. it's probably about 15 now and yeah. of buying and selling and referring and buying and selling, selling the and... same property <laughs> <laughs> um quite a, a number of times so i think it's about 15 now over yeah. the years yeah, well, and I so appreciate Michelle's trust and loyalty. She's just been an A++ client and so grateful. And I'm going to be sad to see her leave, but hopefully I'll get to come visit you at the beach. Bring it on. <laughs> so we are going to make something very healthy. And um, I'm going to have Michelle share share with this healthy recipe. It's actually called cottage cheese uh, waffles. Waffles right you can use the batter for um, pancakes because i do not have a waffle maker look at how cute this little waffle maker is it's, it's a mini one you could get them at walmart they're like 
it's like five dollars or something. Uh, it's they're pretty inexpensive. You can get them there. <laughs> it's the best though because you get to eat the whole recipe. I get excited about this every morning. I know you love this I recipe. Love this. She loves yeah. this. I'm like, well, I come join this. me on my live. So it's the first Tuesday when we cook. So. Go ahead and tell All us, right. there's like three ingredients, right? Right, so we've got uh, egg whites, and I just got like a big bin of this at uh, Kirkland at Costco, right? And then this is my favorite cottage cheese, but any low-fat cottage cheese will work. And then I have, you use a packet of oatmeal. So all oatmeal is not created equal. Like some of the oatmeal, it has like all kinds of calories in it, a lot more. So either use the low sugar kind. That's a good or tip. Or the fiber and protein. And you can tell that it's the right one because if you look at the back of it and you look at the calorie count, it's like between, this one is I think 110 up to 140. If you get just the fiber one, I'm sorry, just the protein one, it's like 200 and some calories. So you don't need that. It's just extra calories you don't need. Oh, so, okay. I grabbed my favorite one today, which is apples and cinnamon. Yeah. Mm. And just to let you know, I don't like any of these three ingredients by themselves. So, okay, so it's a third of a cup of egg whites. So I have this little blender here that I can see the measuring things on the side. So um, I'm gonna put a third of a cup in there, right? And then I've got half a cup of the um, cottage cheese. So I'm gonna put that in there. Half a cup of that. Hey Jackie, good to see you. Oops, I'm gonna make a mess. Nancy. Oh, that's I'm okay. Sorry. That's okay. okay. You know, my Can't cooking hurt. skills are all that. And then one packet of the oatmeal. And I'm, like I said, I'm using the apples and cinnamon one. I just love this because it's not just healthy, it's easy peasy also. Easy peasy. And you know, you can have this for breakfast, but you can also have it for a snack, right? Oh yeah. Like you can pre-make it. You can them. eat it without anything on it if you want. So it's this little blender, right? And we're gonna blend that up. Wow. All right, so that's almost done. And I like the butter flavor, you know. Okay. And I use these because it's got barely any calories. It's just enough oh, to, okay. you know, lube up the... So you, you do that to the little waffle, waffle maker. maker? All right, here we go. So just a little... Whoops. That's okay. There. All right. And then we're going to... Here, let me turn this she, Oh, we have this little pan underneath because she says sometimes... Because I'm a mess and you, I over pour it. Over, it or you over pour it. Yeah. So we're going to put a little bit in there. So you can see it's, it's kind of thick. So you just put a little bit because if you fill it more than that, you'll have a, a total wreck. And it's about three minutes, three and a half minutes. So, and Michelle said that um, you make five of these minis, right, Michelle? It's you like get five about or six or of them, but you get to eat the whole recipe. So this is like one serving, one actually. One serving, oh yeah. Um, yeah, so, oh, hey, Terry, how you doing? Hey, Deb, um, so I want you, Michelle, Michelle's been on quite a health journey, okay? And you guys, you know, I love healthy food, healthy mindset, and that is Michelle. And um, do you want to share how much you've lost? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know. So, to... just, just to let you know, like some of you know me from like a way back, and I used to be a, a personal trainer, and, you know, it was very healthy, but, you know, I was younger then, but I fell off the wagon. Well, sometimes when we go through some stuff, it's very easy yes, to... but I knew better and I still did it anyway, yeah. right? which, was, which was sad. And you know, those things happen and you don't realize, you don't realize at the time, but it's like one day you wake up and you look at yourself and you think, oh, what happened? This isn't me anymore. You know, I'm huffing and puffing to go up the hill. I I'm, I'm, can't find clothes that look right or fit right. I feel and then bad it's a about cycle, myself right. and it just gets worse and worse. And then you, you know, you're tired. So you sit on the couch, you eat, like it just goes on and on. So anyway, I lost like over a hundred pounds and I've kept it off now for gosh, it's been about over a year. Yeah. I mean, she's on this amazing maintenance program and routine. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your routine. Cause I think that's part of the key to your success is yeah. that She's on a routine. She does that routine. Hey, Vicki. Yeah, it really is. You know, and I try, 
like we all do the the fad oh you know everybody wants a short fix like you want to take a pill or you want to take a shot or you want to and you've got people doing all kinds of things oh, and all really kinds of stuff. you know when people ask me what i did gosh diet exercise <laughs> Body in motion and eating right, <laughs> yeah, right? It's amazing. So I would say B I M baby. There you go. <laughs> and so I you know, I get up, I exercise every single day. I do intervals or I walk, you know, weights, you know, whatever. I do something every single day and um I track what I eat. And that really is the key because it's easy to lose track. Mm -hmm. And if you track it later, like sometimes I'm shocked. Like I'll go out to eat or done? something like that. Oh, yeah, okay. I won't hurt it. Okay. <laughs> I go, you know, I go out to eat and all of a sudden, you know, you go to put it in there and it's like 1200 calories for one meal and it's so not worth it. So it's about making choices and stuff now and drinking, you know, plenty of water and just, just like empty calories, you know, and as soon as I got, I was like a sugar fiend. And as soon as I stopped eating the sugar, like I really didn't crave it anymore. So I feel so much, I mean, I just feel so much better. Well, and uh, Michelle uses this app. And it's called lose it, Lo lose it. and yeah, she was sharing it with me. And she, you have tried other things. So she has logged for seven hundred and two days her <laughs> activities and her food. And so, you know, I think having that data and that feedback and that account, it's like self accountability has been really helpful. I think it's like that for everything. Like you got to do that in your job, you know, in your personal life. Like you got to be accountable. And, yeah. you know, rather than just living, like doing whatever, whenever, Yeah. you know, I just find that it's, it's better. And I'm, you know, I'm no, you know, more motivated than anybody else. I mean, I tried everything yes. and none of it was working and right. this, this works. This right. Works, so, right. Well, that yeah. congratulations, Michelle, really. Oh, almost, wow. almost, almost, almost. Oh, this is going to be so good. I wish you guys, it smells so good in my kitchen. I wish you guys could be here like these are my like diner plates <laughs> wow they probably came from a diner i'm, I'm excited oh this. hey Hoob. how you doing um so we can put all kinds of things on here oh true so we were talking about it i'm wondering what kind of things you would want to put on your waffle if you have any ideas but we were thinking of course bears. sometimes i can't wait to put any and just eat them plain plain but just you plain berries or or like a little like all fruit on there or and all fruit you said has no sugar no sugar it's just yeah. fruit yeah so that's that's mm -hmm. nice or you can put like um little mini chocolate chips but i try to avoid those yeah if i'm going to do chocolate chips i do the mini and i do um hey Teresa, um i do like organic there's like healthy chips right yeah yeah there is but you know i just I, a lot of times like i said you don't even really need it a banana would be really good <laughs> all right let's look at look at that wow uh, do you need a fork look oh, at that yeah. got it doesn't that look yummy okay I'm and to think that and to think that was made with egg whites cottage cheese and oh i get, do i get to try first you get to try all first. right you can make another one i gotta try what do you um, want on this? i guess i'll put one first usually i use um powdered sugar but um I'm going to use a little syrup. I'll split it with you, Michelle. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Maybe this will be our dinner. I don't I'm know. I'm pretty excited about it. Boy, they're nice and light. Oh, my goodness. I don't waste I my time with them. knives and forks. Oh, Any, but anybody who knows me knows that I just basically pick it up and eat it. You pick it up even with the sauce? Well, you, you didn't put any sauce on it. I'm going to use a fork. You think I get tired of them, but I really don't. And you eat five of these in the morning? How, the whole recipe, how many it makes. Mmm. Do you like it? Mmm. Are you surprised? Mm-hmm. I am really, these are so good. Yeah. Really, really good. Mmm. I wish you guys were here. This is so fun. Don't talk with your mouth full. Wow. <laughs> I just ate that half, like, inhaled it. I, it's good. I it? think this is going to be my new breakfast every day. Oh my gosh, so good, so tasty. Well, that'll be fun. We'll finish up making the rest of those. And um, so, I want. Is there anything else you want to add about your routine? You feel sharing? Yeah, that? I mean, you know, if anybody wants to feel motivated, feel free to reach out. You know? Yeah, and, and Mich um, Michelle's last name is Trankovich, so you can see her on. She is on Facebook. She's on social you'll media. You'll probably tag me. Oh, I guess we'll tag you. <laughs> Michelle gives me a hard time because she knows that I am not 
the best at tech, and thank goodness we have Deb. <laughs> you know what, though? I got to tell you, your technology has improved 8 million thank percent since, since I met you. Thank when I first you. met Nancy, like using a text was a big deal. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like If I wasn't selling real estate, I probably wouldn't have any tech. But that's just me. You're very good at it, Michelle. And it's so nice of Michelle to be here and to join me today. I'll tell you, um, the, only, the only other thing I wanted to share with you um, today is uh, hopefully you received your invite to my little open house on Sunday, pre-Valentine's Rose giveaway. We're going to have a nice big, um, there you go, and there's your little cup. Um, we're going to have a nice big charcuterie board and some chicken salad sandwiches, coffee and mimosas. Mm. And the only issue I may have is the parking because <laughs> it's not the easiest place to park, but I have a colleague that's going to help us out. And, um, so I'm really looking forward. We've got a nice turnout and a couple people wanted me to deliver, which is great. I offered to do that. I get to go see you, Vicki, cause you want me to see um your screen and porch so i'm looking forward to seeing that and yes jackie we can send you the recipe i sent it to deborah so she should be able to post it um and if i didn't send it i will right after the live so anyways as always so much fun to pop in here and see you all and i'm looking forward to having some more of these uh, cottage cheese waffles and uh <laughs> until next time as always thumbs up Lots of love and keep smiling. Okay? <laughs> All right. Bye. We'll see you next week.